I'm going to share a little bit more details about the um, portfolio that we have uh, just launched today. I'm going to start with the desktop PCs. So we have updated the entire desktop PC portfolio from a technology perspective with the new Intel platform. But I have two highlights and highlight products that I want to share with you today. First one is the Esprimo D, which is a small form factor PC, completely new form factor to our portfolio. Um, and what is important about this device is that it comes with three different power supply options. And uh, the most advanced one is actually offering up to 94% power efficiency in the power supply. And this means that compared to a four-year-old PC, you can save up to 40% uh, energy consumption. And the second uh, device that I want to share with you is the Esprimo Q. Uh, this is a mini PC, and we have actually introduced the mini PC form factor to business already in 2006. And we've continuously updated uh, the features um, on these kind of form factors. And in this uh, generation, we have implemented um, a lot of security. Security in terms of uh, that the optical disk drive um, can be removed and it's a built to order option to have it uh, or implement additional security. Security, for instance, smart card reader embedded and first and foremost in the market to implement a Palm Secure sensor into this device, into a desktop PC. So what this Palm Secure sensor actually does is you hover your hand above the sensor, uh, it emits infrared, it checks if you are the right person to access the device and it authenticates you into your system. And other features that we have implemented, very important for UCNC scenarios, is the low power active mode. And what this actually does is, uh, even if you are away from the PC and it is kind of in an energy saving mode, whenever you get a call, it will prompt this call to your screen and you can take the call uh, even as said, even if the device is in, a low power, uh, in the low power active mode. The second product concept uh, that I want to share with you is the updates on the notebook side. Then on the notebook side, we have also refreshed the LifeBook E7 and E5 series, which is in total five different devices. The LifeBook E7 uh, series is forming a family inside itself. Family concept uh, for Fujitsu means that the components, bit image, BIOS are completely identical across these three different form factors so that you have to evaluate only one form factor, but you can deploy and order three different ones at the end of the day. So that really makes your life easier and reduces the TCO. The other part which I want to highlight is the port replicator. The port replicator is shared across these five devices out of the LifeBook E7 and E5 series. And in addition to that, also covering a two-in-one, covering a mobile workstation, and also covering an Ultrabook. And what's important to understand is uh, that it's a downgrade option. So even if you order new LifeBook E7 or E5 models, you can still reuse your, let's say, old port replicator. So that's, that's the downgrade uh, option. The other part which I want to highlight is that we keep consistent with the modular bay. The modular bay concept enables the user to flexibly switch between different options. For instance, in the standard, there may be an optical disk drive, but you can also exchange that on the go with a second battery by simply flipping it in. There are also options for a second HDD, Blu-ray disk drive, weight saver if you want to travel light and so on. And also what's consistent is the materials. We still keep consistent when it comes to um, magnesium, aluminum in the mix of these devices, really giving the robustness uh, of a real um, enterprise notebook. And the E5 series, as I said, is also uh, refreshed now with the uh, new Intel platform. 